Hello, so this is Yoon. I'm um, just going to give a quick review and overview of the new RC Explorer uh, tricopter, the V3, but this is the one with the maze integrated into the frame. I've um, been thinking about buying a tricopter for a while and then I saw that David released this one uh, just last week so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. So I bought it and a few days later uh, it turned up um, in my office, very nicely packaged I have to say. Uh, so basically I've got the full kit, um, the only thing that I don't have, which is slightly annoying, is the power distribution plate, which it, when I ordered was shown out of stock, but subsequently turned out to actually be in stock. Um, so I wasn't able to, I uh, contacted David but I didn't get any reply back, so I wasn't able to get that added in before the frame shipped, so I thought I could just build it anyway and do my own power distribution. Um, so, last weekend, uh, over the weekend, put it all together. Um, this isn't my first tricopter, the first one that's actually how I got started into multi-rotors was building the a scratch built version of David's original uh, tricopter, so it was a V2 I think at the time. Um, so I'm fairly familiar with how they go together um, and the kit itself is very high quality, um, really nice quality carbon uh, carbon booms, which are obviously all for hiding the wires. Um, the plate, you can tell that David's obviously had a lot of time in, to put into this and it's a mature design now so the, the vibration isolation plate that holds the battery is again very good quality and a very simple design but it seems to work pretty well. Um, Motor mounts, just uh, basic screw-on motor mounts, uh, but they hold really strong uh, the motors. I've went with uh, the Sunny Sky 980 kV motors uh, with Gropner 9 inch 9 x 5 props, and I'm running on 4S setups, so 4, 4S 3000 ampere batteries, uh, which give pr plenty of power um, and I'm probably around about 10 minutes flight time. So I put the, the frame together. By far the hardest part of putting the frame together is the power distribution if you don't have the plate and that's if I was going to order again I definitely would order the plate because um, that would make things a lot easier trying to route all the wires through whilst um, putting the arms back on together and getting the two plates together is really a bit of a pain to be honest um, so but I've got there in the end um, so I'm running this this is the Xiaomi Yi or whoever you say it uh, camera which I'm running um, and I've got a 600 milliwatt uh, DAL mini video transmitter, which is on 5.8 GHz. Um, chose the Bluebird servo, so um, one David recommends, Metal Gear servo, uh, which seems to be pretty good quality as well. And I'm running <coughs> 30 amp hobby kind uh, ESCs flashed with Simon K firmware. So, I'll give you a kind of closer look. Um, I opted to not use the pin header that David supplies and just solder the wires straight on from the ESC so you end up with, well, uh, to be honest I'm not too happy with the way that I've done this, uh, ends up being a bit of a mess. So I've got the receiver just on top there and all the wires are directly soldered on. Um, this canopy hides all manner of sins, makes it look nice and clean, but under there there is a bit of a mess of wires coming through. Um, so I'd recommend that if you're building this Take note of the measurements of the wires quite carefully uh, for for the signal wires from the ESCs because um, I ended up with quite a, a long length which is why I thought, oh, do you know what, I'm going to just cut these and solder them directly on. Um, so it possibly means that I won't be able to change it very easily in the future but I'm hoping that this is going to be a pretty reliable frame. But what you do see is the cable in here which is a bit of a mess. Um, because I don't have the power distribution. So I ended up, I made up my own uh, just splitter cable from uh, an XT60 which splits into the three power wires and also some smaller uh, bullet connectors there just for auxiliary power for the video transmitter um, and also the LEDs that you see at the front there. For the frame itself, uh, the nose is on the inside so you can't really see it but there's nice easy access via USB um, to upload the firmware the custom firmware that, that David and Stevie is, or Stevie's, however you say it, have created for the tricopter. Um, so all, all together, pretty good build, I think. Um, I tried to do this as neatly as possible, so using the wire braiding that you see. Um, this is a video out cable for the, the Xiaomi Yi, which also uh, provides power. So I've got one ESC that's powering the, the nose, uh, 
the other one, the back, sorry, the back from the ESC, is powering the servo, and the final one is giving me five volts to charge uh, the Yi there. The plate that the camera attaches onto, um, they give you a small bit of Velcro, but it doesn't really hold the camera very tight, which is why I've got these elastic bands on here as well. Um, the servo mechanism is excellent. As you can see, really, really nice, smooth mechanism. So, um, not had much chance to fly yet so far. Um, the weather here in Scotland has been pretty poor, to be honest, for what's supposedly summer. Um, but I got out today for a, a small amount of time at lunchtime just to, to try it out, basically. Um, what I did see was there's plenty of power. Um, you can see it's pretty quick fast moving forward um, and the punch out <laughs> is uh, pretty impressive um, just going full throttle from my hauler uh, so really responsive um, the yaw seems pretty good uh, I didn't get mu a massive chance to to, pr uh, to try that out but initial impressions seem, seem good uh, I know David said that this custom firmware should address uh, any issues that the knees had before uh, with the yaw servo um, unfortunately my VTX seemed to be doing some weird things and was cutting out randomly uh, which made for quite an interesting first flight when trying to go FPV so I was limited, to, didn't trust it after that um, so I was limited to just flying line of sight uh, which doesn't give a great indication um, this for me really is intended to be an FPV platform so um, looking forward to being able to push that a bit further what I would say is I think it's really important that you balance your props, I've not done that yet, so I'm hoping to, to smooth out performance a wee bit. It was very windy when I was flying, so that also contributed, I think, uh, to being just a wee bit wobbly at times. Um, but I think because the, the board is, the knees uh, is integrated onto the board, um, vibrations are really, you're going to really need to try and get rid of as many as possible, um, because you've got no isolation between the accelerometers and gyros and the frame itself, so uh, really key I think to, to make sure your props are properly balanced. Um, but David again has a good, really good guide. So overall I'm pretty happy with this um, as another tricopter build. It's really a great frame um, and it's a mature design. Uh, it's really well thought out, uh, all the component placement and the guides David has online are, are or brilliant for scratch build, or for building or scratch building your own um, if you want to just cut out the centre plates. There's nothing massively complex about the design. The only part that's good to get the pre-printed parts is the this camera tray, um, which involves a wee bit of cutting out if you're trying to do it yourself. Um, but overall, pretty happy and looking forward to getting some decent flights on here and I'll update with um, better flight footage once I have some. So thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you want some more. Cheers.